Hello, students. Um, this is a presentation about the animal science major, and uh, we hope to answer some of your questions in this presentation. Um, we are a part of the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, and uh, we are on the Cook Douglas campus. So animal science major uh, is in Bartlett Hall. This is Bartlett Hall right here. It's 84 Lipman Drive. I'm the undergraduate program director. I'm Aparna Zama and the department chair is Dr. Bagnell. And we have our information out here. So if you want to look us up, uh, there's the information. All the information that uh, you will need uh, to explore the animal science major is on our animal science website. So you can look up under the major, uh, the different uh, pieces of uh, the curriculum are represented there along with some interesting and important links uh, to uh, navigating Rutgers. So basically the animal science degree is a bachelor of science pre-professional degree. You earn 120 credits and uh, you're basically doing 39 credits of uh, general education, which are called the SEB score curriculum. So you'll be exploring contemporary challenges, uh, art, history, humanities, uh, government, and, uh, government and regulatory affairs, and so on and so forth. You'll be uh, earning 39 credits there. And the remaining credits of the 120 credits are to gain competence in the animal science field. Now, animal science itself, um, there are a core set of animal science classes that you will be taking. Um, and around the core animal science classes, I'll talk more about that in just a second. There are five options within animal science. The most popular one is the pre-vet medicine and research option. Then we have the companion animal science option, the equine science option, the lab animal science option, and the production animal science option. So the production animal science option is what you think of when you think of animal science. These are with the livestock species and um, uh, students uh, work with um, large animals, cows, pigs, sheep, goats, so on and so forth. The pre-med medicine and research option is by far the most popular of all the options. A lot of students, when they think animal science, they think of becoming a veterinarian and they want to explore that track. Our students, we're also interested in companion animal science and um, companion animal science is very similar to the pre-vet medicine and research track, only it doesn't have as rigorous of the chemistry, organic chemistry and biochemistry requirements. The equine science is all about the science of the horse and the lab animal science focus is on rodent models um, such as mice and rats and um, uh, rabbits and guinea pigs. These are utilized as biomedical research models and students who take up that option are uh, trained uh, to uh, work with lab animals and learn about the uh, uh, humane treatment of these animals and um, are focused more on biomedical research. Now, within these options, you can easily take the additional courses needed and any one of these options will get you started on the pre-vet track. And um, careers wise, students uh, have the possibility of exploring a variety of careers. I tried to fit in a few different careers here. So for the pre-med medicine and research track, students can go into, of course, veterinary medicine, but they're also qualified to go into human medicine into all kinds of health professions, including physician assistant positions, so on and so forth. With companion animal science track, the focus is more to go into the pet industry. The students here are focused on um, animal behavior, animal training, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, they are also qualified to go into health professions, but a lot of students go into the pet industry. And then you have the equine science option. It's about the science of the horse, but also the, the students are taking marketing, management, accounting courses, and they are gearing up to go into the equine industry. Now with lab animal science, most students graduate upon graduation, they actually get our uh, lab animal technician certification ready. 
And uh, in about six months time after graduation, they can take this um, certification. So it's a big pay bump. Um, they work in fields associated with lab animal care or biomedical research. They can also opt for graduate school and uh, go that route. And they also qualify for all kinds of health professions. And then you have the production animal science students who typically go into livestock production, agribusness, USDA related jobs, so on and so forth. Now, these are like the bare minimum that I'm describing to you about the different careers that are available. We actually have a course called Careers in Animal Science where we allow students to explore all the different um, careers that are out there that animal science students can launch into. So having said that, if you're really into, um, uh, if you're preparing to go to veterinary school, you could uh, think about it even now. So you should check out the uh, Veterinary Medical College uh, Common Application Service, VIMCUS. There's a lot of information there, but what I want you to look at are the prerequisite charts that are available there. You will see that of the 31 or so um, uh, veterinary schools that are in the United States, they have slightly different prerequisite courses that they need the students to finish before they apply to vet school. You'll notice that the Rutgers Animal Science pre-vet curriculum is so well set up that after you complete the curriculum, there's basically nothing left on the table. In fact, you go above and beyond what you need to do to apply to vet school and be fully prepared for vet school. So our curriculum basically covers all the important prerequisite courses, the electives, so on and so forth, that will help you uh, get into vet school. So that being said, um, of the qualified students that uh, apply to vet school, our program has 75 to 90% admittance rate. So we have a great track record when it comes to that. Now of the courses that you'll be taking, the core animal science courses that you have to take are listed here. The prerequisite courses are general biology and general chemistry with lab. And the prerequisites to get into general biology and general chemistry are your pre-calculus and expository writing. If you get AP scores of four or five in um, calculus or um, uh, AP language or literature, you are exempt from having to take the placement test and you can place into biology. If you complete pre-calculus and you place into um, calculus in the placement test, then you can actually place into general chemistry. Uh, the way it is set up, in the first year you are tackling biology and or chemistry. You can also take the introductory intro to animal science or intro to companion animal science. And then we launch into the core animal science courses such as animal reproduction, animal nutrition, physiology, and genetics. Now reproduction and genetics only need you to complete biology, um, but nutrition and physiology need you to complete both biology and chemistry before you're uh, able to take those courses. So nutrition and physiology are more your sophomore and beyond um, courses. There are uh, quite a few electives that we offer. Yeah, so you can explore your interests via these electives. There are some courses that are required for the options. For example, for companion animal science option, we need you to take behavior courses, um, um, diseases course, so on and so forth. But there are other courses there where you can really explore your interests. So take a peek at all the choices that you have here. And um, our animal science website has a large number of courses listed there, so you can explore that. A big theme in the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences is experience-based education credits. We believe that hands-on experiential learning um, is very critical for the overall um, development of our students as well as career readiness of our students. Uh, School of Environmental Biological Sciences requires three experience-based education credits to be completed for graduation, but animal science students actually need seven of those credits, and so they are seven of the most fun courses that you can take. You have the basic animal handling and fitting courses where you learn how to lead an animal, 
um, show an animal and groom an animal. Uh, then we have the semester long two credit practicum courses where you learn how to take care, uh, perform the husbandry, uh, take care of the young animals, uh, vaccinate the animals, maybe even help with birthing, so on and so forth. And then there are other courses. Remember Rutgers is a world-class research university and uh, along uh, with many other programs on SEBS um, campus, we have uh, within animal science, many labs that do research and undergraduates are welcome to come do research in, in these labs. So we um, allow students to be trained to work alongside uh, graduate students and others in the labs. And if you do really well in research, you can actually go for uh, an honors thesis if you have the 3.2 and above GPA. In your junior year, you'll be invited to do an honors thesis. There are other opportunities also to earn experience-based education credits, such as the teaching and leadership courses and independent projects, um, such as studies in animal science. And we also have this uh, um, process where we allow you to convert internship credits uh, into credits towards graduation. Supposing you're working in a veterinary clinic over the summer, and you spend 160 hours or 200 hours in the summer working in the vet clinic, we allow you to convert those into credits uh, towards graduation. The bottom line is that with all these experience-based education credits, uh, by the time you apply to vet school or any job uh, or uh, any employment, basically, your resume is going to look very good because you are documenting all the species specific um, uh, knowledge that you have developed and real critical hands-on experiences. So this is something that we are very proud of and we provide many, many, many opportunities for students um, to gain these hands-on experiences. Students might also be interested in uh, declaring a minor or double major. And uh, if planned well, this can be completed in four years except for biotechnology, all these other majors and uh, minors can easily be completed. Biotechnology happens to be a five-year uh, program and that is uh, under animal biotechnology. So that's something you may want to consider. We also have many animal science student organizations. Rutgers has a fantastic uh, student organization network and you can participate in all kinds of activities on campus. Animal science specific, we have the Society of Animal Science, the Veterinary Science Club, the Seeing Eye Puppy Raising Club, et cetera. There are Facebook pages for each of these clubs. And so you're welcome to um, ask for um, permission to join these clubs on Facebook and you can participate in the events uh, even starting now. Uh, these clubs are not only yeah, you know, the place where you make friends um, in the larger network of uh, animal science students. But this is also where you develop professional development skills. Um, there are field trips. There are, um, uh, for example, with veterinary science club admissions counselors coming from vet uh, veterinary schools. Uh, there are veterinarians from different backgrounds who come give talks. So there's a lot happening in these clubs, like Society of Animal Science, every February they uh, go to compete in a meet. Uh, there are 13 universities that have animal science programs on the Eastern Seaboard. So they gather every February to have these um, inter-university competitions. And um, the Society of Animal Science students participate in that. And uh, it's a fantastic experience. And for example, with the Seeing Eye Puppy Raising Club, these are actually animals that are service animals that are being raised to help as guide dogs for the visually impaired. So students actually live with these animals in specialized dorms here, and they train these animals to uh, bring back to those who need them. So there's a lot that is going on here in the student organization. You may think of these as an extracurricular club, but actually there's much more than that. And you're learning a lot about your future career and your interest in these clubs. So there are other clubs here too, but you, you should definitely consider 
participating in this. Um, there are three other first year advisors in our program uh, because we are a very large program. Um, we have many advisors who can help you. Here's their information. It's also on their, um, uh, in our, on our animal science website. There's me, there's Dr. Jesse, Dr. Hausman, and Dr. Malone, and all their information is listed here. So please feel free uh, to email us or call us, and we are here to answer your questions. Uh, thank you for listening.